Hey everyone, I hope you came ready to paint today because today I'm going to show you how I do my oil paintings. I'm going to break it down a little bit, a little on the simpler side because later I'm going to go a little more in detail in certain areas of what I'm doing. Uh, but today we're going to have a lot of fun. I hope you brought your paintbrush. So here we go. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Uh, so for anyone just getting going on this whole oil painting thing, just know that oils are very forgiving. Uh, so do not be afraid of them. Just tackle them, have fun with them. Know that you can go back in and fix whatever mistakes you make. So let's get started with the whole process here. So basically what I'm doing is taking a large brush. I'm just basically covering this canvas making sure everything is completely filled in uh, I'm not worrying about the anatomy or the color so much as just making sure this thing is fully covered uh, you may notice that when I when I start on this I start on a white plain white canvas um, unlike some people that start with an underpainting for me it works this way I'm just fine um, and I I don't think it makes too much difference regardless um, now this is the second layer, I uh, let the other one dry and I'm coming in starting to work some details with the brush that's a little bit smaller than the last one. And uh, right now I'm just putting in the details on the pheasant, getting the, the darker colors on. Personally for me, a flat brush works the best in this layer. and I've. Every now and then I'll experiment with some other things, but the flash, flat brush works the best. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll take the edge of that brush and that's what I'll use uh, to use for the grass or some of the details here in the front of this pheasant. Now as you can see, I have a different brush at this point. I'm going a little more detailed. Just Sometimes I get a little bit excited. I tackle the eye and I tackle you know, all the main features on the animal first just because that's something that gets me excited about the painting. So this is my third layer actually now and I'm going over those details again trying to make things pop. And right now I'm actually working on the highlights to try to make this thing look a little more three-dimensional. Now for the grass I'm coming in with the highlights, trying to make it pop a little bit, where the sun is actually coming in and hitting this just right. This is when everything starts to get fun. You know, you start to see the details and you can start to imagine how things are going to start to take place. I'm just working the details, going over the details that I had before and just trying to get that figure to pop out. Now at this point I'm just tackling regions on this on the pheasant. I'm going back and forth between my highlights and my lowlights and I'm really not I don't have a preference for one way or the other. I'm just getting these details down. I'm going to start to add a little bit of depth here in the grass. I'm going to do a, a warm wash actually, which is kind of uncommon, but the grass I was working with is a little bit on the warmer side, so I did a wash in the background and I'm starting to build out a little bit on that. And I'm going to do that all the way across the board here. This just helps to add some depth into the grass as I build this up. And that's the thing with oil paintings. It's not all gonna happen in one layer, so you have to visualize 
how you're going to build this thing up. Now I'm doing the highlights and a little bit of low lights in here too. So you're going to start to see the depth kind of pushing and pulling a little bit. Typically when you're working with something in the background, a cool shadow is is what's going to do the best as far as pulling away from your subject matter and having your subject matter pop out. Uh, but in this case, I used a warm, a warm shadow. One thing I would like to note is it's really important to know your subject matter and to know how the sun would hit that that creature or whatever you're working with and just know where your highlights are going to be on that figure or you know how your shadows are going to look so this is another layer of details uh, just keep building up the details and building them up you know, this, this isn't one of those things that just happens in one layer, like I was saying. Um, a lot of people will see this and they, you know, the finished product, and they're gonna, you're, they're gonna think that you just had this crazy detailed brush and you just sat there with a magnifying glass and just worked this whole thing out. Where in fact, you're just building up layers. You may only tackle a little section on each layer, but as a result, the whole thing comes together and looks very detailed and structured. So just working left to right as I would be, just like I would be writing on a piece of paper, I'm right handed, you know, so I don't want to be smearing anything going across. So I'm working through the background and then the foreground and back into the background again in this grass. So now at this point, we're just going to finish up the foreground here. We're going to paint in the grass blades and we're going to call it a painting. Hopefully that explained a little bit as to what I'm doing in the studio uh, with these oil paints. Uh, this isn't a, a detailed uh, description of what I'm doing but in future videos I hope to do a little bit more of that for you so uh, if you like the video or have any questions feel, feel free and please do subscribe and ask any questions down below here uh, have a great day thank you very much